whatever is good. Maybe it's even a person. Maybe it's even a person from a far country that is going to come to your life. Yes. That person is the actual good yes. news. Yes. Father, let good news hey. begin to come towards your children oh my from hey. afar. Hallelujah. Sit down for a moment. Proverbs 25, 25. Proverbs 25, 25. As cold waters to a thirsty soul, so is good news from a far country. I prophesy that you are going to receive good news from a far country. Let's all stand to our feet and pray concerning Proverbs 25, 25 that God should send you good news from a far yes. country. Yes.
believe that God can give cold waters to a thirsty soul? Yeah. How many believe that God can bring you good news from a far country? What kind of good news do you want to hear from a far country? God is sending his angel. This morning I was praying. I said, I said to the Lord, when I mention the town, send an angel to that town. <laughs> Lift your hands, holy hands. Whatever is good, maybe it's even a person. Maybe it's even a person from a far country. That is going to come to your life. Yes. That person is the actual good yes. news. Yes. Father, let good news hey. begin to come towards your children oh my from hey. afar. Come and shut all of my about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee thy sons shall come from far and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side how many believe that this can happen practically yes I believe your sons can come from far yes Verse 5. Then thou shalt see and flow together. Hallelujah. I see. And thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea 
shall be conquered. Hallelujah. And the forces shall come unto thee. That is the strength of nations shall come to thee. Dollars will come to you. Amen. Euros will come to you. Amen. Sefa will come to you. I receive it. Naira will come to you. I receive it. Pounds will come to you. I receive it. All types of different na national type of dollars will be coming to you. The forces of the Gentiles Hallelujah. shall come unto thee. Kadema Satabala. I receive it. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. Camel was the form of transportation in those days. Today we don't use camel. We use camel in a zoo. But we use cars. The multitude of cars shall cover thee. Your house will have minimum of four cars. I receive it. They shall come from Sheba. And they shall bring gold and incense. And they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Wow. So sometimes God wants to bless you. Yeah. And from far, he will call the blessing to come from far away. Hallelujah. Amen. He will call the, the blessing from where? Far. Far away. Yeah. That is why in our ministry, he calls us to go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and to the Atamos. If you stay in one place, you often lose. You see, the spirit is moving. He moves. So when you get stuck, you are stuck in the mud and you don't see many of the things that God has for you. You know, one of the things to become a bishop in our church is you need to be broad-minded. You get it? And to be broad-minded, you need to travel. When you don't travel, you don't understand. You know, a brother was telling me the other day that my book on how to neutralize cases. In fact, two brothers told me that how to neutralize cases. He didn't understand it. Then he traveled to a certain country whose name begins with one of the alphabets. <laughs> yes. When he came back, he said, I believe in the book. I cannot find any explanation. Then another brother also told me he traveled to a certain island whose name begins with an alphabet also. Both of them are in the alphabet. And he said there is no explanation for what is there. So when you are when you travel you become broad-minded. When you go places, you understand why one, one brother, a little narrow-minded, was questioning why I was doing crusades in all these countries. It's because you haven't been there. And you wouldn't know. If Christianity is at university level in Ghana, it's at primary school in many parts of Africa or nursery. Yes, if you go, you'll see. Ghana is one of the most Christianized, Pentecostal, charismatic nations in the whole world. Yeah, if you go to some of the other places, you'll see. You know, anyway, are you listening? So, most of my bishops, you know, when I, have, when I told them to go, they were not happy. To go. But after they went, then they will come back and say, 
I owe my life to you. I thank God for your life. You are a real father. And all these type of uh, human praises. <laughs> which take you away from God. <laughs> you know. But. When you move to a place. You find out that sometimes. A blessing is at a far place. Not at where you thought it was. And that is, that is where God can really bless you. Even businesses don't realize that. That sometimes if you try to stay in one place, you'll be surprised that you may be more welcomed in certain places. So you see the scripture when it says that they will come from far and bring you the forces of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 8. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Who are these that fly? You know, certain things are going to come flying in your direction. I mean good things. Do you believe it? Maybe your beloved is on a plane tonight. It's going to come flying into your zone. Kamala Shopala Zaba. Maybe he's flying to Ghana now as I'm speaking. Hey! Maybe he's at the boarding gate. Or she's at the boarding gate. Who are these that fly? As the doves to their windows. Doves go specifically I once preached about dove eyes. They have type of eyes that focus. Something good is focusing on you. In Jesus name. Verse 9. Surely the isles or the islands shall wait for me. He said there are certain places that are waiting for you to come there. And the ships of Tashish first. To bring thy sons from far. So today we are talking about Proverbs 25, 25. When you go home and somebody asks you, what did you do in the church? He said, we prayed Proverbs 25, 25. Good news from a far country. Yes. yes. Good news. And their silver and their gold is coming with your sons. Wow. And unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel because he has glorified thee. Stand up everybody. Let us pray for the glory of God to be on our lives. Father, we ask for your glory to be on our lives. That sons, daughters, good people, good news, good things from afar from the islands from distant destinations will head in our direction in the mighty name of Jesus Hey, little man, 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 little man,
from afar, from a far country, sons and daughters from far, honor from afar, good things from afar. Jesus, we give you praise. Lift your hands. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Mala shantoma da bake mola masse. Halo mo kabarandali mole le bende. Yes.
Hallelujah. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Isaiah 49. Verse 25. Isaiah 49, 25. Thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Listen, for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee. I will contend with him that contendeth with thee. Whoever is contending with you, this is the promise of the Lord. I will contend with him that is contending with you. Do you believe that? This prayer is concerning humans. Lift your hand. Whoever and whatever is contending with you. Father, according to your prophecies and your prophesies, contend against him that contended with us. Lift up a lamentation against all enemies of your life, of your soul, and those who contend against you. Mighty warrior, mighty warrior, mighty
alone. It means Jesus was not leaving them alone at all. Today, whatever represents a devil oppressor in your vicinity, we are not leaving it alone in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and begin to take up a lamentation against any entity, any creature, any spiritual animal, around your life, opposing you, fighting you, tempting you, tormenting you, oppressing you, fighting you, in the name of Jesus.
Listen. Whatever opposes you, resist and is very big and proud around you. I curse it in the name of Jesus. It cannot be big anymore in your life. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and squeeze your finger like this. Bind the enemy. We bind Lucifer. We bind dragons. We bind demonic surprises. We bind spiritual dragons and crocodiles. Every power, wicked power that is lifted up. We bind it. We forbid it. We forbid it. Stop now. Stop the opposition now. We break a different from there are different words used for the devil one of them is the demon there are deities gods whatever is a god uh, eh? who is god who is who is who is a mighty god what is a god Whatever God is against your tongue, we dethrone them in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hand against any gods and demonic entities that require worship. Yes. Ah, that are taking sacrifices, that are taking blood. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Against you, we forbid it. Yes. We forbid it. We forbid it. We forbid it. We forbid it.
blessing you have given to us at this time. Oh, we give you thanks. There is no name. There is no tree. There is no river. There is no water. There is no power against us. There is no enchantment against Israel. Yes. Ah, There is no spell that is working. Yes. There is no cast over us that is working. Yes. Makaloma. There is no failure. seated. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Thank you. Proverbs 25, 25 is a prophecy for your in this season and it's going to be a series. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Before we get deeper, how many know that the church is a house of prayer? When you pray, there is mighty power released. Yeah. And uh, the spirit world is a very real world. How many have been in your room before and there's like something is pressing on you? Have you experienced that before? Yeah, these are their spirits trying to come into the physical and many of these spirits come into the breakthrough in the physical when they get hold of people who are in your life or in your range and they use them against you you see and sometimes into your body they get into your body so spirits are overcome that is why you we are not leaving the devil alone at all for any of his maneuvers. Hallelujah. 